Hey everybody, welcome back. We had a, a, a landmark... Oh, jeez, don't worry about this. This run had to get scrapped because I was playing Rocket League with Sips. Don't worry, I mean, it was a tainted Eden run, so we didn't know where it was going anyway. So we have Jacob's posted note is completely done. We have greed, greedier as Eden. And a lot of stuff is tainted cane. I, uh, again... We, we're going to start to move on to challenges pretty soon, but I think we have an obligation to try to do Tainted Eden Greedier. I think leaving... I don't know why I'm talking so loud. It's 8.44 a.m. on a Tuesday. You're really going to shout? Really? In front of my salad? Um, I'm going to... Uh, there's some good stuff here. Keep in mind, if, if for some reason... You know, you're not familiar. Tainted Eden. Everything gets rerolled literally every time you get hit. So, it, that includes your trinket, by the way. So, there is an amazing trinket in there. I certainly think it's a great one to pick up. You know, we can get some spirit hearts out of our pennies. The, you know, those spirit hearts, I still don't really know how uh, HP is handled on rerolls in this game. I... I'm afraid to ask at this point. Maybe I don't want to know. What the heck is this? Either way, I think even temporarily it would be like a pretty good get. But apart from that, I don't really know. I, I think I'm doing the right thing though by trying to end up with a situation where only Tainted Kane is left. Like I feel like Tainted Kane. Is not my favorite character to play as, though, you know, the, the mechanics involved in it are very impressive. Uh, but at least, like, it shouldn't be colossally difficult. Hold on, I think I'm, I, I think I have some Tainted Lazarus left, too. But I've, I've given you so much Tainted Lazarus accidentally, <laughs> or, or recently, I should say. I think that I am in the right to just avoid it for the time being. So, I, I'm gonna continue to fight here because I heavily overvalue uh, the utility provided to us by the Magician card. I think that's okay. By the way, the Eraser, if we don't get hit for the remainder of this floor, on the next floor, the Eraser, okay, hello, uh, gives us another charge. So for the time being, there's, there's not really much we can glean from it, but that's okay. I, I think that I, I have like a an academic understanding of how we win as Eden, uh, tainted Eden. I think we just try to save money until there's like a steam sale. I think we buy as many seven cent items as possible, and then you know just by having that many items, we're more likely to reroll into a confluence of useful stuff. Uh, over time. And I definitely believe that. We're also more likely to roll into, you know, those items that uh, are, are actually potentially game losing, but, you know, you, you have to apply, like, the law of large numbers to that to some extent. Like, if you play the tape forward, the more items you get, the more chance you have to have good stuff, the more chance you have to have bad stuff. Yeah. You know, it's like when you, when you eat one blueberry... The odds are the blueberry is going to be pretty okay. If you get a, a basket of blueberries, you're probably going to have a couple in there that are a little bit busted. Just is what it is. You go. You, you really want to go to the grocery store, pick out your blueberries individually? I don't think so. You wait till they're on sale because market price is just ridiculous. I don't even know. Like it's. I, I feel like a, a a pint of blueberries is like you know nine or ten bucks. I don't know if I can back that up, but. Uh, and then you just, you know, when you get the gross ones, you just put them in the compost bin. You got nothing to worry about. Statistically, what I just said is meaningless, but it had a lot of flavor, you know, from a, from a banter standpoint. Um, the other thing I think you could do, and I, I hate to say this because it, it, it reflects kind of poorly on some of the tainted characters, which I don't think is fair. But this could be yet another tainted character. You could just play like they're the lost. <laughs> If you wanted to, you could just get a, or you could try to, I should say, get a good run and then some form of invincibility so that if you get hit, uh, you don't actually change. And then, uh, you know, just, I, at the end of the day, if you, if you play like you're the lost, 
against every character, you can't really lose. You know, you, you just endeavor not to get hit ever. What a strange sentence, but either way, it did it did work. It do be working. There we go. Okay, please at least kill one of the little uh, Gemini's here. Okay, or you know what? You did a lot of damage. I'm not I'm not upset. I don't think we want a deal with the devil. So we I don't I don't even think we want to look at the room. Let's buy this. I I'm pretty pleased with our first floor, honestly. Alabaster box, when you consider what else we got going on, is kind of interesting. Um, but I don't think it's the play. I think you just grab... Oh my god, really? <laughs> All that for the right to see uh, Cursed Eye. Which, by the way, we are going to take, even though it might screw us up pretty bad. Um, we're going to take it, because it's an item. And, and all these items are going to be re-rolled eventually, so we might as well do it now. I if nothing else, I'm at least happy that we got uh, a deal with the Angel Precedent. And, and uh, if the Eraser effect continues to apply, I'll be a somewhat happy man. You know, if we could get like two enemies erased, I'd be feeling semi-okay. I'm never going to be mad about more items. Uh, hold on. Birthright is insanely great. Kind of. <laughs> Birthright means... Oh my god, really? Um, you don't reroll items from birf before. I don't know, I almost said before. What the heck is this guy thinking? You don't reroll items from before you picked up Birthright. Which is actually hilarious. Because now I really wish I hadn't picked up, uh, excuse me, uh, you guys have been erased. You shouldn't be here. Um, I, I really shouldn't have picked up Cursed Eye. But there is, you, oh no, 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 my trinket. You just gotta laugh at the end of the day, right? Because I did, I think I literally said there's no reason not to pick this up. And then wouldn't you know it, we got a reason. Uh, but I, I think you just got to use your noggin, okay? We have no... Uh, we, we don't want to stick with what we have right now. But there may come a point where that changes. I'm looking at the items we got here. I'm, I'm not deliberately trying to, like, lose uh, these runs. We're just taking some damage because it's kind of tough. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Let's cleave him. That sounds like fun. We have the sigil of Baphomet! Still mighty dangerous, but, you know, if we, if we just get the enemies killed and... I mean, Cleaver's sigil of Baphomet on Greedier is a little complicated. But also, am, am I insane or does it appear to have accomplished something half decent for us here? Got some invincibility. Maybe I do want Birthright now. Um, although these items, I, I hate to say it, they're not that good. They're not bad. I'm not, I'm not sitting here going like these are, are garbage tier, but... At the same time, you know, the... Really, what I like about this is, is Cleaver and our Trinket. If we want to preserve our Trinket, you, you know, maybe there's some irony here as well. If we really want to preserve our Trinket, we could just drop it in the shop and never use it. Don't even worry about this guy, man. That's who you're worried about right there. I didn't think you could shoot that quickly yet. Just let Teratoma go. The brimstone beam might get him. Dude, this is pretty good. I do kind of want to cleave, but it's unnecessary. Like, it, I wouldn't mind at all buying Birthright. If we could just not have, like, my reflection here, which is a pretty minor problem, admittedly, but still, I, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm deep in puzzle mind right now, okay? I'll admit that video-wise, things have been a little banter deficient, but that is, it's kind of, this is a unique one-month period in, like, the, you know, 120-month existence of this series, where we really are just trying to accomplish, like, the hardest things... Okay, fair. I guess I'll just die then. Um, we really are trying to accomplish, like, the hardest things that have ever existed in this game. That's just... That's all you do now, huh? 
Eden might not really be there. Yeah, I knew it was coming. Um, I, I just, I, I tried the move and the mission failed. Why are coat hangers good? I also uh, keep expecting to be chased by uh, a large ghost. I don't know if anybody else still has like a little bit of a tainted Jacob hangover. <laughs> Feels very strange to me to not be uh, attacked by a large ghost at all times. Oh, maybe, sorry, can I apologize to the game? I didn't get rid of poops with the eraser. I got rid of flies with the eraser. So it, when I said you were supposed to be erased, I would like to admit that I uh, I made an error. The old meat computer put a one where a zero should have been or vice versa. It's all good. So I think birthright is possibly a way to win. Um, but it's not like getting mega mush on uh, on Jacob uh, or tainted Jacob like we did on that one run and then still lost even though it should have been unlosable. Uh, it's it's more like if you already have a good run, you can kind of lock in. Like you ever see the game show The Weakest Link? I miss the era of of like quiz game shows being super popular in in North America. For anybody, it, it, this is my uh, take on this subject. What the, is this Monstro's Lung? It is Monstro's Lung. Monstro's Lung, shoot the whoop. I want a birthright. Lock it in, please. But for anybody uh, that, that wasn't there, maybe you weren't old enough uh, to, to really be cognizant of what was happening uh, in, in the American television landscape uh, in the early 2000s. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire came out, you know, maybe like, originally, I know it's crazy to, oh, oh no. It's it's hilarious looking back. It originally started as like a television event where there were only like six episodes of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. They came on once or twice a week. Uh, and and the whole, you know, continent was talking about it. I remember um, like it was such a big before it became like a weekly thing and then it was on like way too much. Uh, I remember my mom was like, we had pulled over at a gas station to get some gas and my grandma called on our car phone. And it, I mean, this is in like 2001. This is not like 1978. We're not, you know, we, were, we didn't have that Warren Buffett money to have a car phone back when you had to send it to a, you know, one of the six satellites in outer space. I'm just sad, just trying to build that in right to begin with here. Um, but my grandma called on the car phone and said, you won't believe it, somebody finally won a uh, million dollars on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Like, that's how big of a moment it was. Something that happened on TV, my grandma had the, she felt the need to call us and be like, you need to know immediately, because otherwise you're going to get embarrassed at the water cooler tomorrow. Like, this is... It's like the Kennedy assassination <laughs> for my generation. Uh, not really, but anyway, okay, here we go. Tainted Eden, baby, yeah. And then I think that uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire being so popular led to the popularity of shows like, uh, in particular, The Weakest Link, I think was probably the biggest. Okay. Uh, and I always liked The Weakest Link because it, it introduced a little bit of, like, two different elements. Rocket bombs. Yo, five bombs, though? That's pretty sick. It introduced some elements that I had never seen in other game shows before. Namely, uh, bullying. <laughs> the host would uh, insult people, especially if they got questions wrong. Uh, and then on top of that, there was an element of, like, risk management, you know? Oh, God. <laughs> it's such a slog, dude. <laughs> like, the more questions that you'd gotten uh, right in a row, the more money you made. The more money you made, none of it stayed until you actually banked. And when you banked, it reset your streak and put you back down to, uh, you know, the bottom tier for getting questions right. So, you never want to bank if you think you're going to get the next question right. But if you get the question wrong then you lose everything you've accrued up to that point. And then they had like uh, teammates, like the teams didn't make a decision on when to bank, if I remember correctly. 
Um, they just had individuals have to make the decision, which led to some interpersonal conflict. Look, the, the reality era of TV, it's really funny to me. And I've just decided I want to talk about this rather than playing the game, because when you get attached to a run here, it, like, it just disappears in two seconds, so who cares? Um, I, I will always have some fondness for, like, the dawn of trash reality TV in the late 90s and early 2000s. Why? Well, I think you always have some fondness innately for your most nostalgic years, which, you know, tends to be maybe age 10 to age 20 for most people for whatever reason. Or maybe I just feel that way right now because I'm 32, so I'm, like, nostalgic for stuff that was 10 years ago or... Uh, well, 12 plus years ago now, I suppose. Uh, or, you know, and, and maybe like in a few years, I'll be like, oh man, remember my mid 20s? That's when I'm, and then when I'm 70, I'll be like, oh, remember my 50s? That was crazy, man. But anyway, so I think one is it's the most, the period most prone to nostalgia to begin with. Secondarily, we still live in the world of trash reality TV. It's just most of the shows are not. Uh, I I don't even I don't I don't want to offend anybody. M reality shows in the '90s were like huge events: Survivor, Big Brother, The Mole, uh, even garbage stuff. Who wants to marry a multimillionaire? You know, it, it, this was stuff that uh, I mean, even in a weird way, when you look at Iron Chef, you know. Uh, it was a once weekly thing, but it was like a major production. You were a kitchen stadium. That dude would take a bite out of a bell pepper. It was crazy, man. You had to be there. Nowadays, almost every television channel has pivoted to some variety of competition-based reality show. Um, I'm, I'm taking it, dude. I don't, I don't care at this point. Um, so you might think that if I enjoyed that stuff, I'd be, I'd be kind of into it. Um, but it's actually, at the risk of sounding like a, the ultimate curmudgeon, the, the stakes are not as high anymore. You know, like Guy's Grocery Games, they got an episode every 10 seconds on the Food Network. We gotta live here. I don't Maybe you just buy Spirit Hearts, man. I don't know. Uh, and then, you know, even the History Channel. You're like, what did they do on the History Channel? Well, the History Channel's got Forged by Fire. So, you know, no longer is it, uh... Well, at first it was history, then it was like, you won't believe this spaceship that Hitler built. And now it's like, we got a bunch of people from uh, Missouri making tomahawks and stuff like that. So, I, I don't even mean it in a negative way at all. It's just like, I, I miss the era when it was like, a big production. Now they just, they're like, oh yeah, eight hot people on an island, maybe they'll do something. And, I, to be fair, Survivor and... Uh, Big Brother still around, but anyway, I, but I, I miss the game show era more. Like I feel like uh, there's, it's not that many anymore. I mean, Jeopardy is is essentially timeless. Uh, I love Jeopardy. Wheel of Fortune. You'd think I'd be cynical about it. It's kind of the anti Jeopardy. Pretty much everybody on it makes money, and all you need to do is know something ridiculous like. Jimmy, Martha, Stewart, da -da 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 -da. and they're like, that'll be a million, here's a million dollars for you. But I think you can't hate the uh, player on that one. You gotta hate the game. Wheel of Fortune probably gets more viewership than Jeopardy because, you know, people, <laughs> it's very snobby, but I think it's true, by and large are more likely to answer a question that's basically a, a glorified game of hangman where the category is like things you eat at a barbecue whereas on jeopardy they're like dutch royalty and even i'm like oh come on dutch royalty again are you crazy all right prince beatrix but or princess beatrix but i almost made that joke coherent we, we failed it at the last second alas so I'm not even getting my hopes up, you know? I have Brimstone, yes. Is that good? It's... no, it's the best, in my opinion, or at least close to it. Uh, but I'm not getting my hopes up. I, I... we will be hit at some point. 
There's just an infinite amount of uh, enemies that spawn. One of them's gonna hit us with something at some point. We'll reroll the run. Maybe it'll reroll into something good. Maybe it'll reroll into something garbage. Uh, either way, we won't get too attached to that one because the whole process from the ground up is gonna repeat several times en route to an inevitable victory or loss. We are basically playing as tainted Nietzsche. Nothing matters. Just one more uh, slurp of the honey before we descend into the abyss. You guys gotta. You guys gotta go. I'm going. I'm going. I knew. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry, I saw Ipecac for a second there. I got kind of excited. Um, I I wish we could. You know what? I think we can take both. Why am I taking both? Well, I I think that. It makes sense for us to just, while we have HP, stack up as many items as possible, quite frankly. I think that's the play. I think we'll also get this for the next floor. And I don't think I'm going to even fish for a reroll or anything. I want to buy items when they're cheap. They're not cheap right now, so we're not going to buy them. This run is not that bad right now. We need tears, but we could just as easily get that by getting hit instead of uh, by buying it. Let's see. Sure. I mean, I, I do think and this is probably true from a data standpoint, no matter what. Um, give me this tears upgrade for now. We could at least use it temporarily. Yeah, that's uh, it's a little better. Um, but I, I really do feel that as Tainted Eden, your odds of winning go way, way up the longer you live. Your odds of winning necessarily must go up the longer you live, because, you know, you, you don't win runs at the start of the game. The closer you get to the end of the game, you know, the more likely you are to win just by necessity, I think. However, I think it's a mechanics thing. When you have a few items and they get re-rolled, um, your run is not that likely to be good. When you have a lot of items and they get re-rolled, especially like they seem to re-roll within the pool, um, you actually find yourself potentially, okay, well, it's Brimstone again. Uh, you find yourself potentially with a, with a great setup and, and we continue to re-roll into deals with the devil um, that have some merit. And I, I feel like there's definitely no reason we can't do this floor uh, without getting hit. And if we can do this floor without getting hit, then we can use the forget me now. It's tempting to pop it right away because then, you know, it, if we get hit, we essentially lose two item rooms a shop and a deal with the devil. Which is a pretty <laughs> colossal uh, opportunity cost if we're unlucky enough to, to take a hit. However... We also miss out on a deal with the devil uh, if I don't do this floor. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, no. Lemon mishap! We should have just stayed on the opposite side of the map, man. What was I thinking? Who made this? I... Literally popped glass cannon and walked into the the fire of a basic enemy. I rerolled into something that wasn't too too bad, but okay, hear me out. That's HP. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. Three cents for more than three cents, probably. Thank you. And maybe we'll buy Battery Baby real quick. And then three cents for more than three cents, maybe? Wow, I am stupid. Uh, let's do it. It's a very strong run again. But again, that changes mighty quick. I also think on this one we lose all our HP every floor thanks to uh, whatever that uh, sword is. It's not Damocles, but... You can see our damage is really good here. I have a, a sincere temptation to take just about everything we see. Uh, but we won't take that this time. It's just a little too spicy. Uh, but Little Horn is really good. Now, do I think we're going to keep it? Absolutely not. 
but we're still alive. Hey, that's an item. Range up. One makes you small. Uh, I'm not gonna take the other one makes you small, but what the heck is that? Uh, credit card? This makes everything free, right? It, it doesn't make, uh... It doesn't make everything cheap. It makes everything free. Well, we it, if we get hit, we lose it. That's true. That's true. So I think you just use it right away. And in my head, I was like, we gotta not use it. Because if we use it on this garbage, then we get garbage. Then I remembered, who cares if you get garbage? If you're gonna reroll at the shop level, you might as well just, you know, get hit. <laughs> and then re-roll your whole run anyway, I suppose. All right. Sure. Good good job, Brain. I think you puzzled something out there. The good news is, I think you've made things better for yourself immediately. The bad news is, in all likelihood, it's not going to matter at all. Because you're still going to get hit at some point. The whole run's going to get re-rolled. You're going to be adrift in the mechanics whirlpool. And, and you're not going to have any concept, really, of anchoring on this one. We're not going to know where we stand or, or or how we stand once we get there but again at the longer we live <laughs> the more likely it is that we just reroll into like maybe three runs in a row that just beats super greed we've been rolling into some good stuff if this ends up being a win, I have one enduring piece of advice for you if you end up having to do this stuff as Tainted Eden. I know a lot of people are, you know, doing the post-it note at their own pace, maybe even faster than me. And a lot of people uh, played the stuff in Repentance that they found a little bit more intuitive and, and fun. And then the rest of it they said maybe later, which is gamer parlance for never again. That's not judgmental. I do the same thing all the time. Yeah, maybe I'll come back to Stone Shard. Hey, NL, are you gonna come back to Stone Shard? Mmm, blocked. How dare you cyber bully me by asking me a legitimate question? No, I wouldn't block. I wouldn't even mute you for that one. And I'll mute people for, for you know on Twitter at least for almost anything. So that's how you know I don't take offense to the question. And we may go back to Stone Shard at some spot. You see what I did there? I have no immediate plans to, and in fact, maybe even overall an aversion to the idea but yeah we may sure why not hello hello thank you okay uh this is good it's a devil item without us being required to pay for it which is great because our hp is not that good you know what else we've done on this run if i can tune my own horn ever so slightly we haven't uh we haven't screwed up our economy. Let me just see. You know, I'm willing to buy this stapler just to get an item that'll help us on the next floor and it's good to begin with. Uh, we, we haven't wasted our money on nothing. Except for that bomb, but like, you know, it's a bomb, who cares? So I think we've actually built a run that's that's kind of impressive for where it stands. The D7 is uh, is funny. Normally, I, I know what you might be expecting. You might be expecting me to say, when the run is this zany, you want to take, like, anti-zane. You want to you wanna hedge your zane bets? I'm here to tell you, I'm actually, like, almost in the opposite position. Um, I feel like when the run is at peak zane... More Zane doesn't actually compromise the zaniness or, or the ability to do it to begin with. The reason I don't want to buy it is because it's uh, it's only an active item. And as an active item... Just got a little scared there. Uh, it doesn't really become part of our reroll pool because we already have an active item taking that space. So I'm... Hoop, hoop, hoop. Uh, I'm not against it on principle. I'm against it on, on mechanics merit, unfortunately. Uh, that being said, it might be worth buying a 7 cent item to preserve the 7 cent slot in the shop. Whoa, you landed on the fire. Lucky us. 
I, I really just thought for some reason, despite buying no new items on this floor, I was like, oh, our damage has really increased here. Okay, let's see what you got. The, this might be a mistake in the sense, like, it's possible we we would have wanted to get to... What the heck happened there? We would have wanted to uh, get some more spirit hearts before going through with this. Because we do have a deal with the devil coming up, but actually... Uh, if we manage to keep it, I don't even know what was going on on that one, if I'm being honest. I do see Psyfly. We have like 10 BFFs or something. Like, why are my familiars so freaking huge? <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Um, well, definitely, I uh, honestly, I just called you Don. I was going to say dude, and then honestly together, that became Don. Um, honestly... Uh, we wanted both of the items there because we could get them. Now, I don't I don't think you take the D7 or the D4 for 7 cents. I think you take the Halo, see where you stand. At, I honestly think you go straight to the next floor. Are you inactive? Is that why I didn't... Yeah, I, I dropped you in there. The D4, it, it's... I, I'm fulfilling my prophecy now. It's almost anti-Zane. Anyone ever said that? Because it's like one reroll. If we get hit once, we lose it forever. So I'm not I'm not convinced it's actually what we're looking for. I can't see myself. Not not I can't see myself winning. Like I I don't really know on this run what's gonna happen. I feel like uh, I I know we have jar of flies. I kind of feel like we have the mulligan too. I feel like we're creating flies out of nothing at all. Maybe not. This run, to me, uh, I know we have Psyfly. In spite of that, it, it doesn't yet feel like a, a guaranteed win. I'm hopeful that it is, because I... I'm not sure if you could tell, when, I, when we were talking about reality TV, I was having a pretty good time, because it's the kind of trash that gets me excited and passionate. Uh, but, like, when I'm playing the game here, I don't mean to suggest that... I'm not having fun, uh, but it's not the most fun that I have uh, in Isaac, that's for sure. Most, I, I like a run where you can sort of like build up to stuff and get to a point where you're like, you know, you have a reasonable idea of where you stand. Uh, whereas on this one, I'm like, e even if the run sucks, at least you know where you stand, right? On this one, I'm like, I just genuinely have no idea what's happening at, at just about any time. Uh, I do like bombs, though. Apparently, I've been learning a little bit more about boss armor. Bombs reset boss armor on annoying bosses, such as uh, Mega Satan, such as uh, Super Greed. Anything to make your life a, a little bit easier in those regards, I think, is positive. It's a really easy final wave. I'm thrilled with that. Uh, and forgive me. I think you take it all. I genuinely think it's like the opposite of the way you play a lot of characters on Deals with the Devil. I think you take them all. Now. A bomb. To take advantage of a key. Okay. <laughs> Blank card sadly is not what we want. I'm fishing for secret rooms, but sure, I'll, I'll accept uh, a crawl space with... It, you know, I'm not mad. And plus, this is actually, like, good now, right? Or at least not as bad. Um, I'm just gonna be straight with you. I don't know what we need to buy to win. As a lot of characters, I, I sort of do. As this character, I'm like, I think the best plan for us, honestly, might be to reroll till we see Spirit Hearts. Which, as of right now, we're getting nothing. I'll admit, yes, true. And then just buy spirit hearts until we're on full HP. Oh, okay, well, obviously this is not gonna work. <laughs> um, this is a great tears upgrade, though. And if you buy spirit hearts till you're on full HP, then I think you buy yourself a lot of opportunities to get re-rolled uh, into something that's pliable. But... 
It is what it is. Just seeing if maybe we could sneak one more item out of this. <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance. So, oh, okay, okay. That's, I, I wish I got that earlier and that's maybe a good lesson to learn, although we are almost done with Greedier. But a good lesson to learn nonetheless. Okay, let's let's take some HP then. And let's take some tears. And then, I don't really want anything else, but, you know, we might as well take a stab at it here. Um, give me this. I'm, I'm taking as many passives as possible, because I know we're going to get rerolled. Like, it's destined to be true. We got seven cents again. We might as well. And then I think you look for a secret room. Okay, it didn't uh, we probably would have checked there already. Still, that went really well at, at the end here. I'm going to take Goat Hoof. Um, which is debatable, because, again, more bombs resets boss armor, but I don't want to get close to this guy. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, you might ask, NL, do you think you're going to win? Do you think you're going to lose? I have no idea whatsoever. I'm, I'm now past the point where I uh, believe I have any control over things uh, as Tainted Eden. I have Soul of Azazel, maybe, or, or Azazel's Horn, and as you can see, that item proved to be incredibly fruitful. Took off about maybe 1.5% uh, of the boss's HP. <laughs> Overall, though, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good, we're, and we're testing our hypothesis. We, twin hypotheses are being tested here, which I gotta tell you is just bad science. Uh, that being said, what, what hypotheses are they? One, the further you get in the game, the more likely you are to win. Possibly the worst worded question of all time. Uh, and then, the other one is, do you win more Tainted Eden runs by just indiscriminately taking every deal with the devil you can afford so you can reroll into Brimstone as much as possible? The answer uh, right now, it would be scientifically irresponsible to speculate, but in the words of Stone Cold Steve Austin, oh hell yeah. I think this might happen. Like, I'm, I'm being so negative about this, but it's not... I, I, I'm not trying to be one of those, like, like a cynic, necessarily. I really like Repentance. But I do have to say, I actually, like... I think I enjoy playing as Tainted Lazarus more than I enjoy playing as Tainted Eden. As ridiculous as it sounds, at least with Tainted Lazarus... You know, I, I, I might be Eden... Tim Hortons for lunch. That's meant as an insult. I do not respect the corporation. Um, or, or their food items. Uh, but at least I know it's Tim Hortons, you know? Tainted Eden. I'm like, I'm eating something with a blindfold on. I never know where I stand. I'm like, is this Tim Hortons? I don't want to say it's bad. Because if it's... If I say it's bad and then it's not Tim Hortons, maybe it's actually like... Uh, you know, a nice cafe sandwich or something like that, then I'm gonna feel like a jerk. It's gonna undermine my credibility. So, by the way, we did just re-roll the whole run. But we re-rolled it into something that's actually pretty good. Or even great. We have the mulligan, we have uh, Incubus, we got Cricket's body and almond milk. <laughs> okay. And perhaps more importantly, just use the sun, Get just get it out there. I know how to fight Super Greed. This phase of Greed is not as difficult. It's uh, a little bit more intimidating, especially at first, but it's not as difficult. You just, especially in a situation... Oh, uh, we, we didn't get fully rerolled. We kept our spacebar item. And we got uh, Ghost Pepper. Um, you, you just hang out in the corners. You shoot in whenever possible. It's so helpful that your bombs are getting sucked in by, like, uh, Oculus Rift or something. Ocular Rift, I guess, for DMCA purposes. Ghost Pepper's doing incredible work. Then, then when he jumps at you in the corners, you just bail. The only thing you can get hit by is those, uh, those overhead shots. Look at that. that I, it's done. I'm, it's dawning on me that it's done. The world, question mark, I'm sure, has appeared in the basement. Okay. Well, you dropped, uh, you dropped the chest right on top of that coin in the center. 
but that's okay. You think I can get it? You know, oh, we don't have a bomb. What? I, I thought I tried to get it and then teleport to the donation machine. Anyway, dude, tainted Eden. Oh, thanks for watching. I feel good. I feel good. So we got tainted Lazarus, a couple of things, a bit of a slog. And then we've got a little tainted cane. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps me out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Apart from that, twitch.tv slash Northern Lion. I'm live Monday to Friday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific time. Come watch. We have a lot of fun. And I'll see you next time. See you.